Hello, everybody, and uh, we're live today. And um, we're doing, and we're doing another painting. Gee, I'm not ready. Okay, let's start again. I am doing another painting today, and Holy Week is upon us. It's next week, and actually, for the Jewish uh, community, Passover starts tonight. Doing um. A nice uh, painting, and the original of this was done by Young Sung Kim. And when I saw it, when Naomi posted it on uh, uh, a few days ago, it spoke to me, and it was so beautiful. But And I thought maybe I could um, paint it, and I hope I would do justice. And I'm a little nervous today. I don't know why. But uh, my name is Joan, for those that... Um, are new to us and I'm painting on behalf of the Lakeside Church of Toronto and we have Sunday services at uh, 10 30 um, right now we're doing mostly online uh, and we do have some personal in-person uh, service as well so just visit our uh, website and uh, we also have fair meetings on Facebook every um, so for today before I go any further we're painting um, Washing of the feet. So Jesus uh, washed uh, his his uh, followers' feet um, just the day before, the night before, he was to be crucified. John will be here to talk more about it and pray that uh, pray pray about it. And hopefully, I my nervousness goes away. Mm -hmm. John, yeah. come on over. <laughs> Thanks, my love. Uh, it's funny about nervousness. That, um, you know, here, once you're a believer, you realize that the eye of God is always on you. And um, it's funny, though, that we get more nervous when the eye of a few people is going to be on us than uh, the eye of God that's constantly on us. So. Actually, and I'm not saying this to you, Joan, because I just told my wife that I was also a little nervous before we did this. And nervousness, I, I believe the Lord showed me that nervousness is fear of man. And uh, prior to the, I read the foot washing part in, that happens to be in uh, uh, chapter 13, uh, 14 to 15, or or, or 13, John chapter 13, 1 to 7. But, uh, you know, immediately prior to that, it, there was a comment made in John that um, many of the Jews that did believe in Jesus, um, they even though they believed in him, did not confess him because they were afraid of the Pharisees and the religious types get rooted out of church so you know we don't want to be like that and we don't want the fear of man to attack what we do in our lives and these glasses aren't really working for me but i will so i've got this um i've got this uh devotional that i've decided to no those are your glasses love i don't want to do that. um yeah i've got this devotional and to tell you the truth I think I'm just going to use it as a guide. Uh, I don't want to get fully into uh, this person's adaptation of foot washing. Um, I asked the Lord to show me what I should see and say, and He's going to help me with this. Um, you know, Jesus washed the disciples' feet, and He said to them, "Now that I, your Lord and Teacher, have washed your feet." You also should wash one another's feet. I have set you as an example that you should do as I have done for you. So I thought, what really is foot washing? And uh, this comes up with Peter too. Thank God for Simon Peter because he always kind of represented uh, the fleshly side of our argument when Lord came to wash his feet. He said to the Lord, you will never wash my feet. 
And the Lord said, well, if I don't wash your feet, you have no part with me. So it was Peter who then said, then don't just wash my my feet, but wash my hands and wash my feet also. So I think Peter was objecting to the Lord humbling himself and taking up a position of a servant and and washing Peter's feet. And it's tough to let the Lord humble himself and wash you again and again and again. But our Lord's response to Peter is that, you know, once a person has been washed, and once uh, and and that the disciples had been washed, and I would say, once you have given your heart and your whole life to the Lord Jesus, you've been washed. But sometimes your feet get dirty from walking through this world. And our Lord's example, he took off his outer garments and he put on a towel that he actually used to help him wash their feet. So he washed their feet and then he dried them with the towel. And it occurs to me that the dirt that was on them got on him. He was willing to wear their dirt. And it occurs to me, he's asking us in some ways to do the same for each other. Either by associating with some people, some people will say to you, oh, that person there that goes to your church, he's no good because of this. Or our pastor doesn't do this like he should. Or, some, you know, people can be critical, even Christians can be very critical. And will we stand up and say, oh, that's a brother who uh, I, I happen to love. and." Uh, I really don't want to hear them put down. Are we willing to wear a little bit of each other's dirt from time to time? Not that we keep that dirt on us. We get washed. But that's the thing that strikes me about foot washing is that, uh, number one, the person who does the washing has to humble themselves. They lower themselves physically, maybe get on their knees and wash someone's feet. And if you can picture your Lord doing that for you, it's a beautiful image of how he laid down everything for us. The Bible says that having loved his disciples, he loved them to the end. And it talks about foot washing. Um, so uh, I have some notes that I made here, just that, you know, when we, are with fellow believers, we don't want to be around them with a spirit of correction, with a spirit of superiority, but with the spirit of love, with the spirit of Jesus. And if we can do anything to help wash our brother off a little bit, it's going to be done in the spirit of superiority, but in the spirit of love. And that's basically all, all I want to say about it. But, uh, just thank the Lord that He gave us this beautiful image of himself humbling himself to take our dirt upon himself, which is what he did by going to the cross, paying for our sins and, and doing that in to the nth degree that he took all our sin, he took all our dirt. Will we do that for each other? Anyway, bless you all today. Uh, I just pray right now that God's Holy Spirit would minister to your heart and soul just to strengthen you and build you up in his holy faith. The letter killeth, but the Spirit gives life. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, give life to everyone watching today. I pray, Lord, that I haven't shared your word out of any sort of superiority or, or lack of humility. Let your beauty and your and Lord, help us to win all that you would win before you return again. Amen. I'm done. So bless you all. Have a nice day. I love this thing that Joan did. Um, I love how the washing comes down through Jesus' hands. And it's glorious. And then it washes our feet. And uh, we need to be cleansed as we walk in this world. Amen. Okay. Have a nice day.
Maybe that's why I'm nervous. The glory of the Lord. So this is what we're going to be doing. So I did this a few days ago. And um, yes, Naomi said thank you, John. <laughs> sure, with the camera. Yes. There you go. <laughs> How about could we uh, rephrase this again? Put that on the side. So here's another canvas. So, um, <clears throat> I have made the. Uh, the hands of Jesus and the foot, and so what we what we need to um, do today is to make sure that our light, this area here, this the, the hands of Jesus and the sleeve um, pop out, and the only way we could do that is if we have if we have dark background. So this area, this area. And this and this would all be dark, okay? So uh, welcome to all our viewers on Facebook and on um, uh, YouTube. Um, here you go. So what I have here, I have my water, my, um, uh, my paint, some uh, paper towel. I have a few brushes. I think they only used... Uh, two brushes. Uh, I think what's important is that when when uh, you're doing the hands and the water. Okay, so for the hands, I use a fine um, brush with a tip, a beveled tip. Then I have my um, liner brush, and I have a fan brush. Do the water. Now this big brush is just for big areas. Okay, so the colors that I use, two sections I have here, I have the dark and the light. Okay, so the dark, I have the green, all sorts of green, whatever green you have. Um, brown, red, and white. And here I have yellow or ochre and three shades of yellow. Can just mix um, your yellows um, and then uh, some red and orange for the sleeves and some white as well so I just don't want to be uh, taking some white in this area and bringing it over to, to this side. all right so let's go oh. Oh. I'm wetting my brush and we're gonna start here and here, okay? So I'm mixing my green, brown, red colors. I'm not really mixing them. Uh, make one color. I wanted the streaks. In there, the red there, so streaks, okay? So we're not really looking for blending, okay? So you can see, I hope you can see, <laughs> some browns, some reds, and some greens. And I'm just picking up the colors, and I'm just going to put that on a canvas. And maybe I'll even throw in some yellows there, okay? So this is a little bit different from the way I normally paint. I'm putting in a lot of paint on the canvas. You can see there's streaks of uh, green, yellow, red now. Just go up all the way up, down all the way to the sleeve. Don't stop halfway. Uh, 
All right. So we'll let that dry a little bit. Okay. And uh, by the way, if you have any question, um, don't hesitate to uh, put up your question on uh, uh, the internet on YouTube, and I can answer you right away. If uh, you're on WhatsApp or on Facebook, I'll be able to answer you later on. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm picking that up. See, in my brush, it's not blended. I just pick up a red, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of brown, a little bit of green. They're all mixed up in my, they're all in my brush, but not quite mixed up, okay? Look at that. So remember, we're doing this section of the canvas dark. And don't be afraid to use uh, paint that the Lord talk to you and tell you what colors to use. Let us paint with our hearts. And during Holy Week, it um, affects me very much because this is a time that the Lord sacrificed himself for our sins and it makes me cry it, it makes me so emotional that's probably one of the reasons I am nervous <laughs> so we're leaving this um, area middle portion uh, unpainted for now so we're gonna go to the bottom I'm skipping the this section. And we're gonna go down here. Yellow. Basically just go up and down, okay? This would easily turn into um, an abstract painting. If it does, the, when you say abstract, you don't necessarily have to paint the foot and the hand the same color as uh, uh, our skin, right? Just let it take you. Let your painting take you. Let the Spirit, let the Holy Spirit talk to you and let it let him paint with you and see where it goes. So in this area, since we're gonna have water coming, we're gonna paint the uh, something behind it. Okay, not quite dark, maybe light brown. Maybe I'll give it a touch of red. Over here, we're going to continue this over in this area. Maybe not so much. See that? Green, yellow, red. I love painting on uh, the sides of my canvas. It look, gives it a good finish. All right. I'll put in a little yellow. All right.
All right. So um, one thing to remember in this area, this is where our light is going to be. So this section here needs to be light as well, okay? Just light brown. All right. So there's our dark. Maybe I'll put in a little bit. Sort of. Just a touch. Just a touch. Okay. So I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm still nervous. What's up with that? Oh. Lord, guide my hands. <laughs> All right. So same brush. Now that I've rinsed it, we're going to go in the middle. So we'll go for our light colors. So um, that white. A little bit of um, yellow. So we're transitioning from brown or dark color to light. So we'll just start painting not quite next to it. We'll blend into it, okay? There's a little bit of yellow on my white paint. Um, so it's not just white, so just a touch of yellow. Oops. Didn't need to do that. Barbara says, no mistake, just happy accidents. And I just did one. So when I'm near the dark part, I will just start blending into it, okay? Take out some paint. I've got too much paint on my brush. So just I'm just very lightly feathering the light color into the dark. <clears throat> Feathering it in, meaning just the tip of my brush is touching, okay? Blending into it. There we go. All right. We're not doing any details. We're just blocking our color. So we're going to do the same thing on, on the other side now, okay? So we'll, with no, not much paint on my um, brush, I'm just feathering the light color into the dark. Not the other way around, okay? So not the dark into the light, but the light into the dark. Sounds like something John would say. <laughs> now, if you think that um, you're getting too much, uh, uh, you're lifting up the dark paint, uh, it's not quite uh, dry, just leave it alone and you can always come back to it. Okay? I'm putting in a little bit of color on this area too. Same color as that. Same color as this on the top. There you are. All right. 
Azure painting going? Let me know. And if there's anybody that's watching um, on other parts of the world, we're in Toronto, if you're in Dominican Republic, the Philippines, Dominica, close friends, um, well, in the US, say hello, make a little comment, and hopefully we could get in touch with you. All right, so now we're gonna go into the sleeve and these pants, and then later on we'll we'll deal with the hands and the foot. Okay, so I've washed my um, brush. Actually, I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna switch over to this round brush. I don't know if you can see. Oh, the Filbert brush. And this time we're gonna go with same section here, but we're gonna add orange and red. So I red and orange here. No more orange and some yellow. Okay. So notice I'm not mixing it all up. We want sort of streaks and lines to show up. Okay, so now we have our sleeve. It's got some dark in here, so we're not gonna go there. So otherwise we'll pick up the dark and it will go onto the sleeve, so that's not good. We'll work on that later on, okay? I want some yellow and maybe some white. There's different stuff on my brush. Not quite mixed. And I'm just gonna go follow where the sleeve goes. Sort of slanting an angle. I don't normally load a lot on my brush, but this time I am, okay? With this painting, I load a lot on my brush and it's not mixed. You see the different uh, things on the, the palette, they're not mixed. Now the original painting is uh, quite a bit different um, and I think it really is uh, up to what your um, perception of the painting is. So I'm just going to go to the edge here. I'm not so worried about the line because we're gonna uh, highlight this later on with white mixed with yellow, okay? There's my first sleeve. Now we're gonna go to the second sleeve. I think it's too red. Put in a little bit of yellow and orange. I wonder what color his robe was back then. Maybe pink. <laughs> Maybe white. So we're gonna go on the second sleeve now. Red, 
and yellow, orange. You notice how I'm just picking up the paint and putting it on canvas, not mixing it, just picking up the paint. Right. Almost done. More red, yellow, and white. Remember, our sleeve is going this way now, okay? And let's paint a little bit on the side here. At the bottom. Go. That's good. So now we're gonna go on this side. This guy's pants. We're on a sort of brownish color. I'm gonna go with red, brown, white. I don't know. Go to the other side. I'm just marking where my pants. This. Right? So now, this time, our stroking, you know how we stroke that way on, on this side? This time, we're just going to go stroking diagonally. Yes. Feel free to change up the colors of your paint. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> My little grandson wants to peek. Wanna say hello to friends? Hello. Hi. Hi. That's Ezekiel. Hi. <laughs> People on Hi. Facebook can't see you. You gotta come this way. Hey, hello. Hi. <laughs> That's my grandson. Thank you. They're going out. It's beautiful. The weather is so nice. If you get an opportunity to go out, just go ahead. <laughs> Enjoy the day. We've been stuck inside for so long now. Already. Okay. Uh, I think it has sort of a flesh color pants. Maybe I'll make it brown on it. There you go. Well, the streaks of brown. So now how you um, I was saying use dark on the top and the bottom so that you can see this guy here. All right. So all this painting that we are drawing, this is it's giving us the uh, the time to let this section dry up. So when we put white, it'll pop up. And I'm painting the sides too. There you go. So let's watch our brush. 
Now we're going to make a skin color now, okay? Making sure I don't have dark colors on my brush anymore without excess water. Well, now this is where we are going to be blending it, blending, okay? So we'll pick up some yellow ochre, some white. Yellow ochre is basically a mixture of brown and, and yellow and some white. So until you uh, just mix a little bit until you get the skin tone, and you can add uh, more color as you go. Okay, so skin tone that I'm gonna start with is sort of a yellowish, brownish. Okay, so I'm gonna follow my my drawing. That's why I was mentioning earlier. It's important to draw your outline first so this is just blocking the colors okay we're not doing details yet just following under here so when you look in your hand don't forget that there's this section here this section here is more bulby. This part is this. Then you got this section, this area, and you got the thumb. All right. Then this fleshy part. This part, okay? Then we'll leave this area unpainted for now. I'm gonna go to the baby finger. All right, here we go. So remember the baby finger? has three sections. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Here we go. And then I'm gonna do the foot. I'll just use the same um, flesh tone. Just block the colors. Then we'll do details in a little bit. You don't have to follow the same colors. You can choose any skin color that you like. And the other hand. So I'm making sure that I don't erase where my uh, tracing is just yet. So I don't lose it when I come back later. Alrighty. So now, this is when we, so now that we blocked off our skin tones. Now we adjust, okay? So with a the hand, there's a little bit of shadows there, I think. So the glory is right at the top. The light is coming from the top, so your shadows. So it'll be light at the top, and you get some shadows at the bottom. So light here, and shadows at the bottom. So it'll be light here. Light on top of the hand and shadow. Whoops, I don't know if you can see. Shadow at the bottom of the hand, bottom of the feet. Foot, okay? All right, and we'll also put some highlights on top of the pants, highlight on the sleeve, and highlight over here. Okay?
I'm picking up some white. I think I'm going to start while this area is drying. I'm going to go ahead and do the highlights. So the highlights would be just white and just a touch of yellow. Tip of your brush, just a little bit of yellow. I'm going to put it over here. Me and straight lines are not best friends at all. Ugh. There you go. You can do it, Joan. There you go, something like that. And then we're going to do some on the bottom as well. And just very, very lightly touch the top of the pants. Adjust your color as needed. Well, there you go. There's some very, very light. So I'm just very lightly touching the canvas. Okay. Very, very lightly. Put on a little bit more of white. And don't worry if your um, highlight does not come out light right away or bright you can always come back to it okay don't keep on working it on it just it'll get ruined so now our sleeve i'm gonna put some highlight start here now i'm gonna push my brush lightly and pull it down push and down you know how we did the where um uh the falls, it's pretty much like that. So pull it across and then pull it down. Cross, across, and then pull it down. Just very lightly. So this is where you use your light touch. Pull it down. Pull it down. Let's put some more white. And very little bit of yellow. As we get closer here, this is this area is gonna be lighter. And then pull it down. I'm just lightly touching the canvas. You know, Bob Ross says three hairs and some air. Okay. This is how we're gonna play that. Where we're gonna play. I am doing some highlights on the edge of the sleeve. If you find there's too much paint on your brush, just take it off, wipe it off on your um, paper towel. There you go. Pull it down. All right. You can see that it's it's looking like light is shining on it. All right. Now we'll do a second sleeve. So the same colors, just white and very, very little yellow. I'm gonna go over here. Touch, 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 and then pull down. Pull down, and actually, since this is longer sleeve, pull it down longer. Cross. So now you can see the distinction between this sleeve and this sleeve. Pull it down. Very lightly, okay? You'll have a nice stroke. You 
It's okay if you don't finish your painting today. You can always work on it anytime. Then when you're done, you have got to make sure that you um, take a picture and uh, send it to me. Okay? All right. Got some messages on Facebook. <laughs> or, and on YouTube. So Jalen is watching. Hello to you, Jalen. Dalton and Nicole. Oh, Nicole, not Dalton here. <laughs> Christine, and yes, thank you for watching. Gina is also watching. Hello to you, Gina. Naomi, our great friend. Okay. So, um, you know, the edge of our sleeve, we got to highlight that. Our, uh, somewhere here. Just lightly touching that. And I'm going to go down this way. And this is to give our sleeve a finish. Right, so by now this area is started to dry out. I'll go back to the hand. And time to give it some shadow. So in the same section, I just added a teeny tiny bit of yellow ochre and some brown. Darken my shade. So, um... Darkest side would be over under here. So we'll blend that slightly to the into the hand. Go. So I'm sort of curving it in because. You know how our hand looks like, right? More. Dark areas there. Dark areas. And the same thing, we're going to have some dark areas over on this side. Let's do work. And Abby's here. <laughs> I'm shy. Hello. Maybe one of these days we'll ask Abby as a guest. She's also a great artist. All right, there you go. So we put dark sections, not too dark, okay? Just slightly darker than the skin tone. And then, take out the dark. We're gonna do the light part. Too light. Sorry. Remember the light is at the top. Just put it on the skin. And just let them meet. Somewhere in the middle. There you go. There's your hand. Let's go for the foot. This guy's foot is dirty. And that's why Jesus is washing it. <laughs> it's not really the case. We're going to go with dark, darker skin tone. To red. Oh, 
Correcto. Sort of brown, brownish color. Right. So right under here on the finger. We'll make that slightly darker because it's in the shadow. It's in this under the finger, so it'll have some shadow. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's no black in my uh, palette today. I'm just mixing brown, red, and green to make my darkest colors. More. Make sure that I have my heel done right. Don't be afraid to try this. It's not really that hard. You just have to um, let your hand flow and uh, look at your body and see how your hand looks like, what looks like. Okay. And now we'll go to other hand. I'm going to try and match that other one, the other hand. Okay. I've rinsed my brush to take off some dark colors. Make some yellow ochre, some brown, some white, teeny tiny bit of yellow. Right. A little bit more yellow ochre. Brown. You can use a smaller brush doing this. It's more comfortable for you. It's just that I have a bigger canvas. I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas today. So uh, in the interest of time, I'm using a wider brush. But feel free to um, use um, a liner brush to do this, okay? And just go back and forth, back and forth. All right. We'll do a little bit of highlighting on the hands, hands and the foot. Still using the same brush, but I just keep on washing it. But this time, at the top, I will just be using white. Just on the top of the hand, top of the baby finger. And right over here. 
hand shaking. Eh, it's part of the painting, I guess. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. So now we're going to do highlight on the foot. Then after this, we will do the water, okay? Highlight will be just above the, the hands and the feet. So what I'm using to highlight is just the tip of my brush. So this brush is incredible to use for this particular painting. It's called a filbert brush because the tip of it becomes um, very thin, right? which is perfect. I'm going to go on the top of the hand. I'm just lightly touching it. Okay, we don't go under the thumb, we just go on top of it. All right. And we'll go. All right here. So not under the thumb, but right above the other fingers, okay? If you find that you're picking up the dark colors, just leave it. You can come back to it another, a little later on, okay? So this area here, I just painted this dark brown, right? So when I did the highlight on the hand, it kind of picked up a little bit of the brown. So I will just leave that for now. I'll come back to it and when it's a little bit drier. So I'll now go to the underside of the hand. Right there. All right. So this is now dry. I am washing my brush again so there's no brown, no other color on it. It's completely clean. Oh, my paper towel. This time we're going to do the glory of God right here, right here in the water. And we'll bring it down past the hands. Okay, pretty much done. All right, so this is just white. Back off a little bit. Now I'm just going to carefully start in the middle. And then take it out to the sides. Just this section right above the hand, not quite touching the hand, okay? This is all just white. And if your um, painting is not quite dry, you will not get this effect. So it, this section needs to be completely dry, okay? And as you're feathering to the sides, you're uh, lifting your brush a tiny bit. Okay? You feather it to the side. All right. Those that are painting with me are getting this effect. Um, I'll put a little bit of hand color there. Otherwise, we won't see the water. Just very light, 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 light brown. Oh. 
beige color. Color of the hand, basically. It's a very light version. And you can see the water. Now this, we're doing the water now. This is where we watch, oh, we'll use our handy dandy fan brush. Oh my goodness, I'm saying handy dandy. I'm watching too many kitty cartoons. Those that has little kids, I'm pretty sure, sure you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so fan brush, very, uh, I, I got it wet uh, with a little bit um, more water in the brush. I kept the water there, and I'm just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing uh, some paint on my palette. And we're going to go, just like in the falls, when we're doing falls, stroke across, and then pull down. Pull. Strike, stroke, stroke, pull. Go. Then it goes down onto the feet. So I'll wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle. Splash. Here, and there. And maybe some on this area. And some of the water. Okay. So I'm just touching the canvas lightly, okay? There you go. You can come back to it a little later on to uh, make sure that your water pops up. But right now it's too wet, so I can't really come back um, to it um, right now. And so is this quite wet still. But that's pretty much it. Uh, wow. It's only three o'clock. <laughs> okay. So let's. Finish off the highlights on. I'm just going to save this, my brush, for later. I'm going to go back to my Filbert brush and I'll go back to putting some more highlights. So this is now slightly drier. I'm going to put some more white there. And this is finished edge. Put some water there. And that's it. Let me show you. I have. You can add more details on the sleeve. And on uh, the hands, you can give it some more time. Like I said, I can't work on it when it's uh, quite wet. So this area here, I want to come back and give it more white, and that'll make it glow later on. And where the water is, see it? There. 
So you can only do that what if you have some dark color uh, behind it. Okay. So that is it for for today. Oh, I finish a painting without getting paint on my hand. <laughs> At least I didn't drop a brush this time, Nicole. <laughs> I'm terrible at that. So this is the other painting. I'll post them both on Facebook and on WhatsApp. And uh, and I hope you enjoyed painting with me today. Um, and let's hope that the meaning of the Holy Week, the sacrifice of Christ, does not disappear on us and does not get lost. Okay. So have a wonderful week, spend time with your family. It's a gorgeous day today, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.